Welcome back, one and all. Part 7. This time it's really part 7. I made a mistake last time saying part 6 when it was actually part 5. But, no, this is part 7 of Let's Play Mafia. So, let's get right back to the game. Listen, Tommy, I have a delicate job for you. I don't know anyone else who could do it better than you. You're a good driver, and you have experience. Well, to make it simple, tomorrow all the best motors are going to race at the city track. And I bet on one kid who's been a favorite up until now. I helped him along in his career a little. I like fast cars, and I said to myself that I could make back a little on that investment. You understand? And then Ralphie starts saying that some European has come over, and his car is certain to win. Ralphie knows cars. He's real good with them. But otherwise, he's a complete moron. What, he couldn't have told me before I bet on the kid? But still, what the hell is a guy, God knows from where, doing here? These are American races. Me and the Consigliere here were thinking about what to do, because a lot of our boys have bet the same as me, and they certainly wouldn't be happy if they lost their dough. And how would that make me look? Like an old idiot. Tommy, I can't let that happen. We thought, with our Consigliere, about what to do with it. If something happens to him, that's no way. It won't be fair play. I won't enjoy my winning at all. Ralph told me that he knows a guy who guards the racetrack garage. Tonight, you're gonna go there and take this European's car to a but mechanic who knows his way around these machines. He'll take a look at theirs and maybe improve ours. As soon as he's finished working on it, you'll take it back. It's important that the car is back in its place before anybody catches on. And don't even think but about crashing it or getting I... caught by the cops. Are we clear? Yes, boss. If you pull it off, you'll of course get a share of the winnings. Now go. Ralph will tell you where and how. Okay. So... We gotta go get up, uh, we gotta go pick up a car at the racetrack and take it to a mechanic to have it sabotaged. So let's go see Ralphie. Hey Ralphie, you got some news about this job? Sh 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 sure Tommy, you need to go to the City racetrack and borrow that m m m m m motor there. My f f friend b b b Bobby works there. You go around back there and uh, along the w way is the gate g gatehouse. T -t 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 Tell Bobby that the Ralph sent you and Bobby will take you to the car. I it's already been agreed with him. And then? You just have to take it to the auto service of my f f friend Luca Bertoni. It's in Newark under the Giuliani Bridge. He'll t -t -t to, to, to take a look at it and, and to, to tune it a little, and then you just take it back. This should be easy enough. But you you, you got to get it done before 1.15 a.m. when the g g guard changes, so that nobody n n n knows that somebody drove the motor in the night. The, 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 there can't even be a scratch on it, and and, and, and try to avoid the cops. They 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 they, they mustn't catch you. Hmm. And how will I get there? So, follow him manually. I presume that red one's our car. So, let's go on ahead. Well, I got something new in. Ain't no big thing to s s swipe one. B -b 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 watch. You just stick a piece of w w wire in here and twist it a, a, a little and you get inside where you gotta join these two w wires. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, Ralphie. Now don't you go sparing the gas, Tom. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so let's first take our car. And we'll head on out to the racetrack. Okay, so the racetrack's all the way over on the west side of town. This is actually, uh, if I remember correctly, one of the very few night missions in, in this game. And uh, it's now a quarter to one. And I believe you said we have to get done by 1.30, so have... Um, the car picked up, sabotaged, and brought back before that time. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, because, uh, well, we're picking up a race car, so it's going to be pretty damn fast. At least compared to these cars. Uh, hold on. Let's uh, engage the speed limiter, just to be on the safe side. And not get arrested. Oop! Going the completely wrong direction, and now I'm going to crash. All right. Oh, this is off to a good start. So we have to go this way and then keep going. Okay, now negotiate these turns. Alright, a couple of ladies warming themselves up by a by a barrel. Of course we are still in Great Depression times, uh, so that would explain it. out to the car to connect the city to the racetrack. I think we can speed up here because the chances of there being any cops out here is pretty slim. And there's the gatehouse. Alright, so we have to stop here and go talk to the to the guard. Oh no, there he is. Is he going to get in, or... No, I have to go talk to him. Evening. You must be Ralph's friend. That's right. Okay, we'll take your car. Go in and over to the garage. Okay, Lost Heaven Racing Circuit. Now we're passing under it. And... We'll get right to the pit lane. Okay, we're here, buddy. Come on, we haven't got a lot of time. Well, let's see this car we're going to drive. Nice. Okay, is that it? Yeah, buddy, be real careful. There can't even be a scratch on it. And avoid the cops like the devil, because this car will be real obvious. That's right. 
In about half an hour, the second guard will come. So you gotta be back by then, buddy. And be real careful, that car goes fast. Maybe it's the fastest car in the world, who knows? Sure, Bobby, no problem. I'll take care of it in a half hour. Okay. Now we're off to Luca Bertoni's. Now this is a car. Kind of car that makes driving around uh, this city fun. Of course, the fact that we can't crash at all. Makes me a little more nervous. Because this thing goes. Whoa. And we already spun it. I was actually about to say this thing holds the street better than the other cars we usually drive, but not so sure anymore. Okay, so we gotta get back to Central Island. And of course, the best way to do that is a uh, good old tunnel. Or maybe not. It's probably better to take the bridge right there. Whoa! That was rather unfortunate. And we did some real damage to this car. <laughs> Let's hope it won't spoil our mission. Oh no, we don't have to go to Central Island. We have to go all the way over. So, off to the Giuliano Bridge it is. People turning without warning is a huge problem if you have to avoid crashing. Looks like there was an accident there. car this thing handles pretty badly but then we are we are in 1932 